for tax <clears throat> math one more time. Because there are technically two ways to do this transfer tax, all right? So the first way and the easiest way is to where they simply give you some transfer tax rate. So in this example, it's 50 cents per $1,000, all right? And the way that I was te teaching everybody is to think of these, you know, like sugar packets. That packet is worth $1,000. So if I sold a house at 140000 800. The question is, how many packets of a thousand are in there? Well, there's 140.8, right? And because they are 50 cents each, the transfer tax on that would be $70.40. That is a very simplistic way. Now, it can get a little more complicated because what's going to happen is the second way is a rate and then they say or any part thereof. So what this is telling you is like in the last example, see this part here? We had eight tenths of a sugar packet in this method, <clears throat> the way they ask it, it's $1,000 or any part of a packet. So using the last example, we would see that it had 140.8 packets. Now, you cannot have a partial packet because it's 1000 for a a per packet or any part thereof. So in this particular case, it would be 141 packets. You cannot have that partial packet. Now it would be times the 50 cents. So you get $70.50 is the transfer tax. Notice that was $70.40. This transfer tax is $70.50 because of this is not allowed. All right, if you have any more questions, email me, Raymond at realuniversity.com.